Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> How are we all doing? I'm just gonna hang tight. Good morning, welcome. Victoria, I see you. Come on in and request to be in my live so we can get our party started. Okay, guys, hang tight. Here's Victoria. Let's let her, let's wait for Victoria to come in. Good morning. Hello, Tina. Hello, Jaden. Hello. Morning. How yeah, are you? Oh, I oh, love this. I got to flip my camera now that I'm seeing. I got to figure out a new setup because now that we're on half camera, my yoga mat disappears. So we need to do a little yeah. tech. Here. How are you, Victoria? Good. How are you? I'm so excited for this. This is going to be amazing. Me too. So welcome, everybody. Before, we're going to give you a little bit of an intro about what we're doing together today. But make sure you have a glass of water or a bottle of good fresh water because you're going to sweat and we're going to be stressed. And then we're going to talk about um, self-care, right? So welcome, everybody. Victoria and I met on Instagram. Yes. And the thing that we have in common is we both know the importance of taking care of ourselves. And we know that when we slide to the bottom of our priority list and we don't take care of the five pillars of well being what we eat, how we sleep, how we move, how we manage stress, and how we connect socially, then we don't thrive in all our roles as you know, human, as parent, as business person, as employee, employer. So in order to be able to wake up and feel in abundance and feel alive, right? We yes. have to take ourselves. We also know, like Victoria and I know that there's not a lot of time. So we thought what a perfect way to get together on a feel good Friday, do 10 minutes of Victoria's incredible cardio kickboxing, which by the way, you don't need any boxing gloves and I'm going to take off my, my yoga braces. Yeah, now. me too. <laughs> and then a 10 minute de-stressing but energizing yoga flow and then a chat on the importance of self-care. Exactly. So, yeah, as you introduce yourself to everyone, I'm going to shuffle around my yoga mat because I realize that you don't see it, right? Can you tell me you don't see a yoga mat? No, right? no, I don't see it. Speak and I'm going to reshuffle around. Perfect. Okay. Hi guys. So I'm really excited. Some of you guys I know. Um, some of you, you don't know me at all. So I love Erica's energy. Um, when we connected, I was like, this is so amazing. So I started um, really briefly. I was overweight my whole childhood. Uh, I always felt sluggish. I always felt like I could be better. And I just didn't know how or why or all these things. So I started as a Zumba instructor. When Zumba was first created, I was one of the first certified in Canada. Um, and then just found this love for like movement and fitness and all these things and just started getting certified in more and more things, which led me to training, nutrition, um, a little bit of Pilates, cardio boxing, Zumba still, all these things kind of mashed together. And now I teach uh, fitness classes that like focus on transformation. So bringing it all together, the five pillars as Erica brought up, that's what I do. That's what I love. And I feel like when you move your body, you feel different. Like our mindset just changes. So I want to share that with you and I can't wait to do this with you guys. Awesome. Awesome. And for me, I am a certified life coach, yoga and meditation teacher. I found yoga by accident 20 years ago in a near burnout. Uh, I was an entrepreneur at the time and my business was thriving, but I was quietly not in a good place at all. And so I found myself on a therapist chair and she said to me, Erica, don't throw fire on your flame. Don't dull your shine. Do what you do best. Instead, complement it with a calming lifestyle. And so that was the birth of yoga for me, which led into meditation, which led into like essential oils discovery. And about four, about five years ago, I wanted to marry my life coaching work with working with women's minds and working with their bodies. And so I became certified in yoga and meditation and yoga is just everything. I hear it all the time. I'm not a yoga person. I can't touch my feet. I'm bored. It's not for me. I can't do it. And I say yoga is for everybody, everybody and everybody. And if you don't like what you see, try something else. Try another teacher. Try another class. Try something else online. But we know that when we pair breath with movement, we, we, we rewire our brain for calm, we rewire our brain for more joy, and we help fight anxiety and depression. It's just the research. Um, it's the Harvard Medical Research and it's the Mayo Clinic research 
that yoga helps. And so does cardio boxing, by the way. Getting all <laughs> out and getting all your stress out is amazing. And then we'll do, so our, my yoga version today is a little bit more energizing. We just want anything feels, and I'll let you say your portion. For me, I'm gonna give you modifications. If anything feels funny, sticky, intense, you have the choice to just stand where you are or sit down. No one can see you. This is your own personal journey. Please be safe with your body. If you're concerned, uh, don't do it and just watch. We'll share this to our story. Speak to your doctor first. You can do this 20 minute workout anytime you choose. So if something feels off, we are telling you to sit down, to rest and then join us or don't rejoin us. So that's, that's what I wanted to say. Now, Victoria, you can go ahead. Yeah. Guys, so um, we're going to do a little bit of cardio boxing. Um, again, exactly like Erica, Erica said. So it's really all levels. Um, I like to have some fun with it. So great music, pump it up, all these things. Have fun. Just move your body. I feel like, again, when you move, change of mindset, it just adds so much value to your life. And you're going to feel different throughout the day. So again, I love saving these so that you can go back and do it at any time. And yeah. we're good. Let me just test my, yeah, you can see me well. Perfect. So I think we'll go ahead, guys. And if you are ready, you can put a comment saying, I'm ready. I want to see how many of you are actually doing this with us. So. Hey, but I'm too far from my phone. Victoria, can you see me okay for my portion when we get right into yoga? Is that okay? Yeah, you're perfect. Awesome. Good. Now perfect. let's just increase the music a little bit. All right. Little jog. Let's jog it out. Shake out the body. Woohoo! Yeah, 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 it's a party. <laughs> uh, wow, we have a lot of people doing it with us. I love it. All right, from here, we're going to reach in front. Reach, 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 reach. Yes. I love it. Good, same thing. We're going to reach over your head. Stretch that body. Reach. Reach. Yes. Again. Eight, seven, six, three, two. We're going to punch here. Punch. Punch. Now, when you're punching, knees are bent and you just want a slight twist. Punch. Beautiful. Erica, you're a natural. <laughs> and my core's engaged, right? I'm sucking in my core to protect my back. All right, same thing. We're going to go up over your head. Punch, reach, reach. You're going to feel a slight stretch in the abs. Good. Eight, seven, six. Beautiful. All right, we're going to do two in front here. One, two, and then switch. All right, now, the more advanced people, you really want to twist one side and then switch. Good. One side and then switch. Good. Nice. One, two. One, two. I love it. Keep going. Punch. <laughs> yes. All right. Four more. Here we go. Four, three, two. Last one. We're going to go uppercut. So here we're working the back. Underneath. Underneath. Underneath, slight bend in the knees, lean forward, work the abs, work your back. Yes, yes. If you're ready, we're gonna go a little bit faster. Here we go. Up, 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 up. Good, nice. Work the back, let's go. Eight, seven, beautiful. Four, three, two. All right, let's bring those knees up. Little crunch here. So when the knee comes up, work the core, little crunch, and exhale. The breath is so important. Good. Keep going. Bring it up. 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 I love it. All right, we're going to skim one leg eight times right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Whoa, that feels good. <laughs> eight, seven. Five, four, three, two, same thing. Do it again. Eight, seven, six. Activate the whole body. Three, two, one, switch. Last one. Eight, seven, four, three, two. Let's go back to that punch. Punch, punch. 
Nice. Now in my course, I will really get more used to my, I guess, my rhythm of teaching. We go a little bit more advanced by adding weights, not today, but just know we can wrap this up when you're ready for it, okay? Four, three, two, let's go four times. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, one, switch. Four, three, two, switch. Four, three, two, bring it up overhead. Alternate overhead, reach. Nice. All right, four more, then we're gonna do a combo and we're gonna have some fun. Four, three, two. All right, so one leg is going behind. We are gonna do three punches. One, two, three, two knees. One, two, three, knee, knee. One, two, three, knee, knee. So it's arms, then leg and abs. Yeah, arms, leg and abs. Nice, one, two, three. everybody's okay. If you're okay and you're alive and with us, give us a thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So good, everyone. That was great. I love that. I love that. My heart rate was up. I feel great. That was awesome. It's like a dance party. My yoga portion on my watch now. Woohoo. Oh, right. So if we're feeling good, great. I love that. Perfect. We're all feeling good. Let's drink some water. Let's slow our heart rate down. <laughs> we're going to bring the vibe. Um, it's going to be a different vibe, but we're still going to feel really energized. So if you're new to yoga, welcome. Yoga means union. It is the pairing of our mind, our body, and our spirit uh, to create an output of a beautiful you. So let's get some music going. Okay. So Victoria, we're going to, and everyone, we're going to start standing up this morning in mountain pose. So let's ground down. Let's root down to the earth. Shoulders away from our ears. Let's close our eyes. So feet are about hip width apart. Let's create some space. Let's unclench and relax our jaw. Let's soften our belly. Let's smooth it out our forehead. Let's just start to land on our yoga mat. So as we inhale, go ahead and take in oxygen and vitality and everything good and pure you see for yourself. And as you exhale deeply through your mouth or through your nose, allow it to be a letting go or a release of tension in the body or of thoughts that are no longer serving you. Let it out through your mouth. Let's just land gently. And see if you can root down into the earth and let the body weight feel even between the fronts and backs of your feet. So you're feeling strong, like a mountain in mountain pose. Palms are facing each other, so you feel my good energy through the screen and I feel yours. Let's just focus on deepening our breath, but specifically deepening the exhalations. Keep that breath moving. Keep that breath flowing. Let's ground down on this Friday. Let's really, really focus on our breath. When we breathe, we activate our sympathetic nervous system. We calm, sorry, we calm our sympathetic nervous system down and we activate our parasympathetic nervous system down, which helps us rewire our brain for more joy and more calm. So let's take a final breath in. Final breath out, beautiful. Let's go ahead, put our hands to our heart and let's shift over to the side for a crescent lunge. So we're gonna extend that left leg back. We're gonna bend into that front right knee. We're gonna bring our arms up. So a couple of options and variations. So crescent lunge, that left leg is straight and strong. We wanna make sure we're in alignment. So we wanna make sure that that right knee is stacked over that right ankle. Let's close our hips off. So left hip comes forward. Right hip comes back. If this is too intense on your shoulders, you can bring your arms up to cactus or hands in prayer. So we're reaching here in crescent lunge, breathing, activating, feeling the legs. Drop your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. Beautiful. Excellent, Victoria. Good work, guys. We're breathing here in crescent lunge. We're going to take three more here. Exhale through your nose or through your mouth. Final breath in. Beautiful. Final breath out. Coming into pyramid pose. So let's zip everything in. Let's bring that left leg back in a few inches. So our legs are now straight. Our right toes are facing 12 o'clock. Our left toes are facing 10 o'clock. Hands on our hips. Let's grow as tall as we can. Big breath in. Exhale, let's come down to a flat back. Heart is staring down at the mat. For pyramid pose, you're gonna feel the deep stretch in your hamstrings. <clears throat> We're gonna stay here and breathe. Feel the love for the backs of your legs. Do you feel that, Victoria, behind your legs? That's so good. So pyramid pose, so the idea is we're not rounding or curling. 
we're in a flat back and with every exhalation if you can bring your chest any bit closer in the direction of your mat that's a beautiful thing we're going to stay here for three more breaths <sighs> i'm sighing out the week victoria i love this <sighs> final and then final breath in Final breath out, beautiful. Let's go ahead and kick up off the back foot. We're gonna come into warrior three. So let's have a small micro bend in that right leg. Let's slide the left leg back, hands in prayer, warrior three. If you can't get that left leg up with your toes pointing down, just hover it on the mat. You will still, still feel and get the benefits. If you're with me, you're in warrior three. You're looking down at the mat, hands are in prayer, left toes are facing the earth. We're balancing here in warrior three. So we're gonna keep our arms close to our heart today to kick off our weekend very heart centered. Let's breathe here. If you get tired, just lower those feet down, right? There's no competition, there's no expectation. It's your practice. You do what feels good for you. One more breath in. One more breath out. Let's land. Starfish pose, Victoria. Open your toes out to the side. Reach up, open your chest, open your heart. Allow room for possibility, allow room for new discovery. Allow yourself to feel big and take up space and feel energized. One more breath here. Beautiful, let's go ahead and switch the other side. Hands to your heart. Let's switch lunge to the other side. So crescent lunge to the other side. Right leg is straight and strong, lunging into our left knee. Let's make sure our left knee is stacked over our left ankle. Let's introduce those arms up. Let's bring our right hip forward and our left hip back. Arm choice or variation is arms up, cactus arms, or prayer arms, yogi's choice. Let's breathe here. <sighs> Right leg is straight and strong, or if you need to take a little bend to feel a little bit more supported, you take what you need. Shoulders away from your ears, unclench your jaw, core is engaged, and you can smile. It's the same price if we smile, <laughs> or laugh, or get silly, or fall over and lose our balance. It's all cool. Big breath in, big breath out. Let's come into pyramid pose, bring your arms down. Zip it, let's bring that right leg back in. Our left toes are facing 12 o'clock. Our right toes are facing two o'clock. We're going to place our hands on our hips and grow tall, big breath in. Exhale, let's start to hinge and fold forward at the hips. Chest is pouring in the direction of the earth. Our head is in alignment with our neck and our spine. Feeling the stretch behind our legs, especially that left leg. If you shift your weight, Victoria, a minute forward, you'll really feel that stretch. Beautiful. Yeah, and as we exhale, see if you can exhale your chest to the mat an inch more. We're gonna stay here for three more breaths. If you wanna close your eyes and challenge your balance, feel free. If it's too intense, just ease up or completely stand up, your choice. One more breath. Beautiful, let's go ahead and bring our hands to our heart. Let's kick up off that back leg, small micro bend in that left knee. Let's slide that right leg up into warrior three, hands in prayer. So we're balancing if you can. If your balance feels off, just dangle those toes on the mat. You'll still feel the benefits. So warrior three, right toes are facing down, micro bend to support the knee, hands in your heart. Let's breathe and smile here. Four <laughs> breaths here. Two, three, four, lift that leg as high as you can. And then Victoria, let's come all the way up to standing. Circle sweep our arms up. Bring our arms down and then follow me. Let's gently roll down one vertebrae at a time, slowly, slowly coming down. And then as gracefully as possible, we're gonna sit down and then we're going to lie down. If you guys have a towel or a blanket or a sweatshirt, you could cover your eyes with, you're gonna come down into Shavasana and then I'm gonna put the music on. So your toes, let them fall out to the sides, let your palms face up about an inch or two away from
Start to create a slight tuck in your chin, smoothen out your forehead. Close your eyes and allow this moment for yourself to regroup and to find stillness in our final resting pose, Shavasana or corpse pose. Allow your body to restore for the weekend. And take a big deep breath in out of our mouth. Let's do that one more time. Big breath in out of our mouth. Let's go ahead and wiggle our toes, roll our wrists and ankles around. Let's gently come onto one side with our eyes closed. Just rest in this fetal position for a moment. Continuing to deepen our exhales. And then with your top hand, gently press yourself up to a seated position. Let's go ahead and place our hands to our hearts. I want to thank you all for taking this time, this 20 minutes with Victoria and I to pour into your health and wellness. I want to remind you that you have everything inside of you already to live a deep, rich, and full life of abundance and health and joy. Let's place our hands to our third eye, let's bow forward, namaste. We conclude by saying namaste, which means the light in me sees and honors the light in you. So that concludes our workout. And now Victoria and I are here to answer any questions you have before, but first we're gonna talk a little bit about what self-care means to us, how we make it happen, and then we're gonna answer, maybe just tell us quickly how you feel after that workout before we move on to uh, our self-care portion. How do you guys feel? I feel uh, amazing. <laughs> amazing. Well, amazing is a good thing. Helen feels amazing. Awesome. Thanks, lady, for the health break. That's the goal, is to fit it in and make time. So awesome, Helen. Thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. We're so happy to have you all here. Um, all right. So I'm glad. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Great. Yeah. Great. Okay. So I'm going to ask you first, Victoria. How do you make time to refill your cup during the day so that you stay energized and calm? Okay, that's a good question. And I feel like for me, since I was a dancer and I was in Zumba and fitness and all these things for so long, um, I realized during the pandemic that if I do not move my body, even if it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, it doesn't even matter the duration. If I don't move, it could be a five minute spin, a five minute yoga, a 10 minute, it could be anything. But if I don't move, I have anxiety and I can't believe I'm saying this because I was never someone who was like, oh, I'm stressed. I have anxiety. I never accepted that to myself. And really during the pandemic, I thought to myself, okay, you have two options. We can cry about it and wallow in it and be really sad about it. Or I can like learn how my body's reacting and become better. So I'm never someone to be like, you need to work out every day. But I personally feel that if I don't, if I don't do the five minutes, 10 minutes, I'm like anxious throughout the day. 
So it's funny when we first met I, and you were really talking about meditation and yoga, I was like, I need to do, even if it's like a five minute meditation, I need to do it. And so since January 2nd, like it could be a 10 minute spin or a workout or whatever. And then a five minute meditation. Beautiful. That's amazing. So me too. So this week I've been um, in my office working. I'm in the middle, as you know, of my busy to bliss launch for women, a self care yeah. course. And I've been doing a lot of sitting. And this week I let those bad habits come in, which is like, instead of waking up a little earlier and doing, you know, a workout, I'm like, oh, I'm tired. And I'm like, oh, I just want to get the work done. So I'm yeah. sitting at the desk a lot. And I feel like even this morning, it was so good to move. I've been trying to incorporate, but what I find is to your point of doing five minutes of anything, like this week when I've been sitting a lot, I get up every hour, I set an alarm on my phone at my desk so I don't, because our, our brain actually, the, the, the ratio of work to rest balance, our brain likes to work in spurts of 52 minutes and rest 14 minutes. So our body likes to concentrate for an hour and then rest for 15 minutes. So I set my alarm so that I intentionally wake up and I don't get stuck at my desk and I do this. I get up when I'm like this week, when I, when I, my, my patterns or my habits are bad, I just do jumping jacks. Yes. I do. I do like 50 or 50 jumping jacks just to get the energy flowing. You feel if you sit at a, at a desk job, get up and do jumping jacks. It is, there's so many positive benefits to moving cardio. It's a full body workout. And then yeah. you start to trick your brain that you're actually happy. You're actually yes. healthy. Everything. And I find when you, when you move, the body gets energized. So you might feel super tired, but then you get energized. I, I work with a lot of seniors, a lot of people that are in wheelchairs as well. Even yeah. if they're in a chair, like hands here, just elbows to the knees, go back like a crunch, elbows to the knees, go back and <coughs> way of movement or lift the knees up. And right away you have like so much energy. So it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. But so we speak about self care. And um, the whole thing is like, right, how do we find the time? So I'm asked a lot, if I'm really not taking care of myself right now, what are two things that I can do? Yeah. So I think that's a really good question. I get it a lot. Like I'm, I'm treating my body not like the temple that it is. I'm not what? sleeping well. I'm eating like shit. What are the, what, how can I start? And I say two things, water. So increase your water intake. I don't know where my bottle is, but my girlfriend bought me this great bottle on Amazon, Kirsty, if you're watching. So she bought me this, and it's, it's the two liter drink for the day. It's the eight by eight, which is, you know, eight recommended glasses of eight ounces. And it gives the hour, right? Like we, we start the bottle yes. full. Yeah, right? It's like, keep going, keep going. Me too, I have it, I love it. At temperature water, your body loves to drink room temperature water anyhow. So keep by your desk, so drink water most of us are walking around dehydrated yeah. and it leads to a lot of wonky things you don't want your body to be dehydrated so walk so water and walking if you're yeah. currently doing nothing and you take anything away from the self-care 30 minutes it's to drink more water and just start walking if you can 20 minutes a day your brain on a 20 minute walk a day is fired up and happy when you're walking 20 minutes a day so walk to the pharmacy, walk to the grocery store, walk with your partner, walk your dog, walk yourself, put a podcast in your ear and just yeah. get outside in the full spectrum light and vitamin D if you can and walk. Is room temperature better for you than ice cold? Well, the studies show that room temperature is better, especially in the morning if it's the first thing you're drinking as it should be. Um, so I drink a nice tall glass of room temperature water in the morning. It's good for your kidneys. It's good for your organs. And I don't put it in every day. I try and it every two days to room temperature glass of lemon water the other thing about self-care is two more things i want to share walking in water <clears throat> my prescription is 30 to 60 minutes a day of self-care doing whatever is pleasurable for you and the thing about self-care is you don't even have to be good at it if you suck at golf but you love it that's your self-care if you want to learn how to knit a beautiful sweater and you suck at knitting like i do but it relaxes you and it makes you feel calm, that's your self-care. So 30 to 60 minutes a day, have a morning routine or evening routine to make that happen. I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but the way to find more time is to have a beautiful morning or evening routine. And the last thing about self-care is that it irritates me and bothers me that people think that self-care is like massages and manicures and pedicures. That's not the self-care that I teach. Okay, those are lovely, we like those. 
but that's not self-care. Self-care is sometimes doing hard things that don't feel um, really pleasurable in the moment, like diving deep into your finances and making a plan to pay off your debt, like breaking up with a toxic friend, like looking at your limiting beliefs, like creating boundaries around people who are walking all over you. And, and that is short-term pain for long-term gain, but make no mistake, that is very much self-care. So those are the things I want you to know. Walking, water, 30 to 60 minutes a day and doing hard things is very much self-care. Financial, spiritual, emotional, physical, it's all self-care, right? I love that, I love it. I feel too that the tough conversations are the best kind of self-care because we know deep down we gotta do it, but we're like uncomfortable to do it. And I think this is the year of being uncomfortable and just doing what? it. And so we got to do it. Love that. Hear the shift. So when I taught my self-care masterclass this, this week, and I have one more coming up next week, if you ladies want to go to ericadive.com, you'll see that you can sign up for the self-care masterclass. Um, there was a great visual that I shared. I saw it on Instagram and I loved it. It said that thing before I do it. And like the mountains really huge, like that thing before I do it with like this sad face. And that thing after I do it, and the mountain's really small. So often it's the, it's the paralysis and not, and thinking about, oh, I have to work on my CV or I have to do that or whatever. I have to work on my resume or I have to do that. Whatever we think about doing, that gets us stuck in paralysis and that makes us feel so worried. It's actually in the doing that we feel better, right? Exactly. exactly. This is the year of the doing, but this is the year, what did you say? I love that. This is the year of being uncomfortable, like yeah. uncomfortable. So just <laughs> might as well go into it and, and really like, I think it's bringing up a lot of personal things and people. And again, I always say you have two options. We can like cry about it, wallow in it, which there's always a time for don't press the emotions down, feel it, do all those things. But then it's like, okay, we need to do something about it. And that might be invest in a seminar, learn about yourself, read the book, do the yoga, do the meditation. For me, I was so scared of meditation because I was always putting stuff down where I was like, well, if I just lie there, it's all going to come up. But in the doing, uh, you learn yeah. so much and you become way stronger than you ever thought you could be mentally. And you're able to live a life like with complete fulfillment. That's like my goal. That's that's the shadow work. That's the, a lot of us can't sit and look at the ugly sides of ourselves. Yeah. That's, that's very deep work for another day. But <laughs> let's get off to you guys. Yeah, How good job, guys. Here. What are your questions? We'll spend a couple more minutes. If you have any questions for Victoria or I, anything okay. about building a life of wellness and well-being around self-care, shoot out your questions. We're here to answer them or any comments or feedback. If you want to see this kind of workout again, we want to know that too. You can share in our DMs. If you liked 10 minute boxing and 10 minutes of yoga flow, um, if that felt good, we will come back to you um, or questions. So we'll hang tight, I'll drink my water and then we'll, we'll wait for any of those comments or feedback and then we'll shut it down and start our Friday. Yeah, guys, <laughs> any questions at all? Erica, I love the combo of both. Like I feel ready to take on the entire world now. <laughs> So oh, awesome. It was so, so awesome. So if we don't have any questions, we usually, I usually get them in my DM after. Usually people don't want to always ask in public. Do you see anything? I don't see. I just see people joining. I don't oh, see. I have Chrissy saying if we're going to do another time, she really liked it. Oh, okay. I don't see that. So I'm glad you see that. Um, yeah, Chrissy. So, so Victoria, we'll chat and we'll try and, you know, bring forth another 20 minute. Maybe next time we won't. Yes, do it again. Awesome. <laughs> So maybe next time we can skip self-care because I know that people are low on time. Maybe we'll just do a 10 minute box, a 10 minute yoga flow, yeah. 20 minutes, throw it into your schedule and then we'll meet here. So we'll connect you and I, Victoria. Thank you everybody for watching. Feel good. Make time for your self-care. You matter. Remember self-care isn't selfish. So important. It is, it is everything it is your everything it's not um san it's not vanity it's your sanity so thank you so much Victoria. Yeah. rock yeah you do thank yes, you we'll come back yes people want more we'll come back to you i love boxing and yoga like box yoga i love it and if you guys, if like boga <laughs> If some of you want to join again and having commented, just let us know so we see like the real demand and then we can figure out between Eric and I a time and everything. So thank you for your feedback. Ah, have a beautiful day and, and I will post this. I'm going to click end.
I'll post it. We'll post it to our story so you guys can come back to this anytime you need it. So thank you again. Happy Friday. Mwah. Feel Thanks. good. Bye. Yourself. Bye. Bye. How do we close? Oh, okay. I closed it here. <laughs>